Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about quorum sensing. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So what is quorum sensing? Quorum sensing is a bacterial communication phenomenon that allows bacteria to communicate using a secreted signal molecule to assess their population density. This process enables population of bacteria to collectively regulate gene expression and regulate behavior of the population. So in quorum sensing, the bacteria produce uh, certain molecules or the signaling molecules that helps regulate the gene expression and regulate the behavior of the population of the bacteria. So in current sensing, the bacteria assess their population density by detecting the concentration of a particular signal molecule called as the autoinducer, which is uh, correlated with the population density. So the chemical signals that is produced by the bacteria are called as the autoinducer and uh, which is produced or the rate at which it is produced is controlled by the population density. It is the regulation of gene expression in response to fluctuation in the cell population density. So based on the uh, population density, auto-inducer uh, regulation will be there. Current sensing bacteria produce and release chemical agent molecules called as the auto-inducers that increase in concentration as a function of cell density. So based on the cell density, there is an increase in the concentration of uh, auto-inducer molecule. The detection of minimum the threshold stimulatory concentration of an autoinducers lead to the alteration in the gene expression. So after certain uh, threshold limit, the concentration of, of autoinducer lead to the alteration in the gene expression. The quorum sensing was uh, first discovered uh, in two luminous marine bacterial species, uh, Vibrio fishery and uh, Vibrio harvey. In both the species, the enzyme responsible for light production are encoded by the luciferase structural operon, LAX CDABE. And the light emission was uh, determined to occur only at high cell population density in response to the accumulation of uh, secreted auto-inducer signaling molecules. Uh, the gram-positive and the gram-negative bacteria uses uh, quorum sensing communication circuits to regulate various physiological activities. And uh, this includes uh, symbiosis, uh, virulence, competence, conjugation, antibiotic production, motility, sporulation and bio biofilm formations. All these uh, physiological activities are further controlled by uh, the chemical uh, signal molecule that is produced from the bacteria called as the autoinducer. So this is seen in both uh, gram-positive and uh, gram-negative bacteria. So in general, uh, the gram-negative bacteria use uh, acylated homozerin lactone AHL as the autoinducer, whereas uh, the gram-positive bacteria use uh, processed oligopeptides for the communication. So these are the two different uh, uh, molecules that are used in general by gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria. In gram-negative bacteria, it is the acylated homozerin lactone AHL and in gram-positive, which uses the oligopeptides. So there are different quorum sensing signaling system in uh, gram-negative bacteria. These different systems include uh, the Lex I, Lex R bioluminescence system of the Vibre fishery, uh, the Pseudomonas aeruginosa, uh, Las I, Las R, RHIR virulence system, and the Agrobacterium tubifusions, it's um, Tri-I and uh, Tri-R virulence system, and the Irvania carotubora, it is uh, EXP, EXPI and EXPR, and uh, CAR-I and CAR-R uh, virulence or antibiotic system. Uh, the different quorum sensing signaling system in the gram positive bacteria are the Streptococcus pneumoniae com D com E competence system, the Bacillus subtilis com P com A competence or sporulation system, the Staphylococcus aureus uh, ARGC or ARGA virulence system. So these are some of the examples of uh, the quorum sensing signaling uh, system or the pathways uh, in uh, different gram negative and uh, gram positive bacteria. The mechanism of action of uh, inducers. So there are two major pathways phase along with the extracellular signal control gene transcription. Depending on the chemical structure, auto induces activate uh, transcription factors either by direct interaction or via receptor mediated transcription factors. So in contrast, uh, AHL as an auto-inducer in gram-negative bacteria, the auto-inducers of gram-positive species are unable to penetrate uh, the cellular membranes. Instead, their effects are mediated by two component system controlling the transcription of uh, corresponding genes. Here you can see uh, in this gram-negative bacteria, the signal molecules enters the bacterial cell and the Lex R and uh, system uh, binds to the ligand and then further in turn activates the gene expression system. So here this is how the gene expression expression levels are controlled in the gram-negative bacteria. Whereas in uh, gram-positive bacteria, 
uh, it is uh, uh, it enters the cell through a sensor or the receptor mediated pathway and it uh, uh, binds to the response regulator uh, uh, through phosphorylation it can b- bind to the response regulator and uh, activate the gene expression system so these are the uh, example in the gram positive bacteria the first incidence of uh, biological phenomena came into light with the discovery of uh, luminescence produced by the marine bacteria as we have discussed earlier so this is the first uh, bacterial species in which uh, this phenomena has been identified these bacteria when free living in sea water are non luminescent when they grow to a higher cell density they bioluminescence uh, with a blue green light and uh, this bacterium commonly forms a symbiotic relationship with uh, some of the fishes and uh, Yeah, squid species the marine organisms carry a specialized organ called the light organ in which the bacterial luminescence appears in the dark environment and it is due to the uh, maintenance of uh, high density vibrifugary population in the light organ in the marine environment the bacteria only luminescence when the colonizing uh, the light organs and not emit light when they are free living state so it is basically uh, due to the regulation of bioluminescence uh, due to quorum sensing via n acyl l homoserine lactones The synthesis of uh, lipophilic uh, AHL is uh, catalyzed by the enzyme called uh, ALH synthase and this is the product of uh, Lex I gene. Lex I gene is subject to positive auto regulation and the transcription of Lex I increases the AHL accumulation in the cell and the AHL activated Lex or and the Lex I gene will be transcribed only at a basal level. The AHL freely diffuses uh, diffuses out of the cell and uh, accumulates in the environment. When cell density increases the concentration of AHL also increases the greater the concentration of ahl uh, flows back into the cell and activates the high level transcription of lex i and other regulatory genes whose products are needed for the bioluminescence hope you are clear with this topic if you like the video please share it with your friends thank you